guys, it's Adria. So today I am going to be doing a very requested video. You guys have been wanting to see a tour of my desk. First of all, to answer any questions about my desk that I may have received is one, where did I get it? It was actually Brandon's mom's. It was in her garage. I don't know where she got it. It was just like an abandoned desk. Nobody wanted it. I think she was going to repaint it but never did or something like that. I don't know. It was just an old desk that nobody was using and I saw it and I was just like, oh my gosh, I could totally use this desk. I don't know. I'm really a visionary if I see something, even if it's old and ugly. Like this desk was three different colors. It was the wood, like the original wood, that it looked like somebody had painted it red and then it looked like somebody had tried to paint it white. So it looked like somebody had tried to paint it a bunch of different colors. It wasn't the most attractive looking desk. It looked very gross. It had dust all over it. But I rescued it and I painted it myself. Just this bright blue teal color. I love this color blue. So I'm just going to be showing you guys my desk today. Tour of it. Hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned. Alright, so here is an overview of my desk area. To the side of it, I have a calendar right there, as well as my little whiteboard that I use for YouTube with video ideas, as well as my video schedule and when I'm posting videos, and then I just have a full length mirror right there. And also down there is a canvas for painting, so let's just take a look at my desk. We'll start over here. So there's a little Hello Kitty on the wall, and this is my Bath and Body Works candle, sunshine. Right here is my little pencil tin, little pens in there. Um, yeah, I hope that doesn't fall in there. That would not be good. And there's a little Hello Kitty notepad right there. And this is like a little metal thing that Brandon made. I don't know, like metal splattered and it hardened and it looks pretty cool. So he gave it to me. So I keep that there. Then over here we have a little Betsy Johnson tissue box. And this right here is actually a little cabinet which can open and close. It could have a handle, but I haven't gotten around to getting a little handle for it. So in here, I just have some P.O. Box letters that I've yet to sort through and make a video on. Some little notes that Brandon has left for me. Um, that yellow thing is my laptop case. Let's see what's under here. Um, a sketchbook, drawings and stuff. Oh, there's my Nina on rated drawing. And yeah, just paper, paper, art stuff. Yeah, this drawer is kind of random. And then down in here, this drawer right here. This is really just like beauty stuff. Um, I have these little purse tissues, um, little lotions, face things, uh, some foundation in here, nail files. I know I have like nail polish and stuff in here, nail files kind of stuff of this nature back in there as well. I don't know, this is just random uh, beauty crap that I don't know where else to put. So, yeah. Then right here we just have my MacBook with my little Hello Kitty mouse pad and just a plain black mouse. I got that mouse because one day my trackpad decided to stop working for no reason and I got a mouse and now my trackpad works just fine, so that was weird. And then right here, we just have my nail polish collection all stacked up like this. And funny story, this was actually a drawer to this desk that would have gone right here. But after I painted it, the drawers didn't fit, I think because the paint was too thick. So I just used it as a little shelf instead. And there's my little Love God Serve All little poster thingy. And right here is my little Zen Garden. I just got this yesterday, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this here or not. I have yet to find a really good spot for it, but for now, I guess it's fine on my desk. Up here, we have my little elephant piggy bank, which is actually named Euphina. Brandon and I joke that she's our child and that we feed her coins, and we argue who's a better parent, and we put more coins in her, and yeah, so she's our child. And right here is a little bear. I guess this was something from my childhood. I don't know. It's like a paperweight, though. It's really heavy, actually. You probably can't tell, but it's pretty heavy. Right here is just a little paper. I actually found this on a table at work. And it's just like a little inspirational thing from the Bible. And yeah, I guess you're just supposed to keep it if you find it. So I keep it on my desk. Oh, I knocked my Zen. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh gosh, the Zen is so off balance. Okay, okay, okay. Come on now, come on now. Okay, lemonade. There is sand in the lemonade. Oh, you know what, screw that. All right, I am not worrying about that right now. And this right here is my little baby rattle that my grandma actually found and gave to me. So I guess this was just a little, I don't know, I don't think a baby could actually play with this though because it's like metal, but it's just like a little token of being born, I guess. And this right here is a little bracelet thing. I have some of my nicer jewelry in here that I don't wear as often, but is nicer. I have some watches in here. Yeah, this is like my nicer jewelry in there. And then right there I have a little Believe poster as well as a little Hello Kitty. And right here is where I keep notebooks and stuff like that, um, drawings. Oh, here's a drawing I did of Dexter. Um, as well as this drawing. I actually did this while I was at work. <laughs> and this is my, my journal. I have panda stickers back here. Oh, more panda stickers too. And this is like a little, um, what is this? I don't even know what to call it. Uh, like a mental health book or something like that. And another notebook. So this is just like paper stuff like that. Oh, and then I have these cute stickers in the front. Oh, there's a note stuck to it. I have these little stickers that are kind of kawaii. Yeah. Here's a little mini golf score thing. Oh, me and my sister tied. That was so not fun. And under here, these were originally drawers, but I took the drawers out, as I said, for this. And under here, I just have an extra pair of earbuds. Under here, I have some matches. And this is like a little tin. I think there's like a stamp in here, but this tin is for like earrings and stuff, but there's a stamp in it. And these are just little um, motivational cards. Look, deal with negative thoughts. How lovely. Yeah, so there's that. And that's all I have under there. And then yeah, as I said, right here is a calendar and my YouTube organizer thing and a mirror. All right, and right here, I think I spilled like nail polish remover right there, but actually I was thinking of like doing this to my entire desk kind of to give it like a rustic kind of look, but right now I like it the way it is, but you know how you see stuff that's like painted, but then it looks like it was kind of sanded so you can see the wood underneath. I kind of love that look, so I feel like I'd want to do that to the whole desk, but not like this. This looks crappy. So in this drawer right here, I have a bunch of my iPhone cases. This isn't all of them. A lot of them are back in Pennsylvania. These are just the ones I used the most. Here's a skillet one. Some of these my sisters gave me because they got iPhone 6s. So they gave me their iPhone 4 cases because I'm lame and still have an iPhone 4. Oh, here's a little... Oh, I forgot I had this thing. It's cute. And here's my busted phone back in here. I don't... Somebody tell me what I can do with this. Because, like, can I sell this for anything? Is this worth anything? Here's a Hello Kitty toothbrush that my mom gave me. I think it was last Easter. I don't remember, but I haven't used it because it's just cute, so I don't think I want to use it. Here is a little um, pencil case. I don't know if it's Korean or Japanese. I'd like to say it's Korean, but I'm not 100% sure. And it has a little milk thing on the end. I don't know. I really like um, Asian things. They're really cute. And these are little um, brats. Things. These came with, I think, Bratz Babies back in the day. I don't know why I have these, why they're in here. How they got to Florida, I don't know. Um, here's a pin from my first visit to Disney World, which my brother actually gave me. I didn't even get this pin. Yeah, like, I don't know, the Disney people didn't hook me up, so my brother did. Um, and then here's just a bunch of random jewelry. I have a panda ring, little turtle bracelet, and here's just an extra wallet that I have. Yeah. Oh, and these are goggles from Halloween costume. And here is a sister keychain. Cute. Yeah, so that's basically what's in this drawer. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see my iPhone case collection. Let me know. Down in here, oh lord above, this is all of my art supplies. Excluding my paints. My paints are in my kitchen. Um, I don't know why my paints are in my kitchen, but they are. And uh, here are like my artist pencils, 3B, stuff like that. Yeah, and then these are all just colored pencils, Sharpies, um, the maybe crowns in here, I don't know. There's a lot. 
Okay, yeah, there's that. Oh, if I can close, I can never close this door. All right, all right, there we go. And then down here, oh! I had to be very careful with this drawer because this is all like P.O. Box mail. This is where I keep all of my P.O. Box stuff. So if you send anything to my P.O. Box after I've read it and after I've hauled it, it goes in this drawer. And yeah, this is where I keep all my P.O. Box stuff because I don't really know where else to keep it at the current moment. I may get like a, what's it called, like a binder or something. I don't know, but for now I'm very unorganized and I don't have much space in my apartment. So for now... This is where that stuff goes, so... Oh, my P.O. box will be down below if you're curious. Oh, and then back in there is more of those uh, mental health books, and there's also discs in there, too. I don't use those as much as I probably should. And then just my chair, which I also painted, but the chair actually did not come with the desk. I actually found this at a thrift store for only like $2, and it was just plain wood, and I painted it the same color as the desk. So yeah, and that is my desk. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my desk. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. I know I don't have the cutest desk in the world. I know it's not the cleanest or the most organized. It seems kind of cluttered, but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I put out videos three, three, not six, three times a week. If you like this, subscribe for more fun. We have fun here, I like to say. I. Yeah, my videos are of wide variety, so yeah, join us, have fun. Let's have fun, right? Yeah, let's have fun. I will see you guys again in my next video. Until then, panda hugs, I love you guys. Bye!